Crafters, this is Lisa. Welcome to my craft studio. <laughs> we're here today because we're going to be playing with watercolor. Um, we're using the watercolor paper and the emboss resist technique. We're going to be doing some heat embossing and then watercoloring over the top to make this beautiful card. So, okay. let's get started. So here we are over at the craft table and I've gathered the supplies that we need to make this card. We're going to need a card base. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. That's our standard card base. Then we're going to have a piece of watercolor paper that is cut to four inches by five and a quarter. And then a piece of Whisper White that is also four inches by five and a quarter. Um, I've got our Versamark ink. This is wonderful ink for watermarking and also for heat embossing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bold stamp. This set's actually retired. This is an old celebration stamp. But I like the bold letters. So basically I just wanted to grab something very bold that I could wet emboss or heat emboss on the front of the card. So I'm making sure I've got a good impression. And then I'm going to use this, just a the piece from the Stampin' Dimensionals, to put underneath and then pour my white embossing powder over the Versamark ink and it's going to stick. And I can go ahead and pour this very liberally because I can just dump it onto this little piece of paper. that I can then use the fold to pour back into the container. Now when I take this over to the table and I heat emboss, I want to make sure that as I heat emboss, I'm distributing all the heat evenly. Now we can do that by just moving the heat tool around or maybe putting a, um, like a cookie sheet underneath of it. But I want to make sure that I'm giving heat to all sides. I'm going to go back and forth, top and bottom, and I'm going to heat both sides. This will keep the paper from warping um, so that when I'm all done and heat embossing, I've got a nice flat piece of paper. That's going to make it much easier to assemble my card. Then I'm going to use the um, aqua painter or aqua marker to add some color over the heat embossing. Now this is a raised heat embossing. Now, I don't know if you can see it because it's white on white. But as we add the color, it's going to pop. So by squeezing the pad, I was able to get the ink, the pad to touch the lid so I can get the ink there, that I can then use my water marker and just pick it up and then use some nice broad strokes over the top of my card. To add the color. And then once I've done with a the color, then I just kind of squeeze a little water out till it runs clear. So that when I go to do the next color, they don't bleed. So now I'm adding some yellow. This is our Daffodil Delight. It's a nice bright yellow. I love it. Again, nice broad strokes. Just right over the top. Then I'm going to go back with some Tempting Turquoise and do the bottom. Now, as you can see, everywhere that I've heat embossed, it's not sticking. The um, heat embossing has actually protected the paper so that it's not absorbing the color. So you just kind of play around with it till you kind of like the look. You can't really go wrong with watercolor. It's just kind of playing. And then 
I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my card base. Let's, let's give it a little bit of a rub, get any uh, moisture off. And then I'm going to. And I'm going to go a little more adhesive than I normally would because, again, with the water and the heat embossing, I just want to make sure that it's got a nice, good, even stick. Center that on the front. And then for the inside of the card, I'm going to use some coordinating stamps from our stamp set. I'm going to use the little flower and leaves and then one of our words. So we'll bring back in our colors. And I want to be very careful that I'm not getting the edge of the rubber. Um, inked up any so that it doesn't transfer a ring. Let's, let's use some green. Ooh, that got the edges. You always want to make sure you look on these little stamps. And then you might want to keep maybe a piece of Kleenex or something to just kind of wipe off the edges so that it doesn't transfer a ring to your card. And then I'm going to use the sentiment. I'll go ahead and stamp that across the middle. And then put that on the inside. I'm just burnishing it where the um, adhesive is to make sure it gets a good stick. We wouldn't want our card to come apart. And so then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of bling to the top. And so I'm going to bring in some sequins that I have that are in these colors. And then I'm going to use the glue dots. And I'm just going to expose the glue dot and then put our sequins over the top. And then when I peel off the sequin, the glue dot will come with it. And then we can adhere it right to the front of our card. And so there we have it. There's our finished card. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to pop on over to the blog. I will have all the directions there, including the measurements. I will also have links so that you can purchase anything that you may need to make this card from my store. So thanks for stopping by. Happy stamping.